But Sydney now with two runners in scoring position and only one out in the bottom of this second inning. A designated hitter strides to the plate, Blake Cavill. Blake, another one of these young developing blue socks that's coming through the grades that uh, came up through the Little League World Series program that's run through Certainly Baseball is. Australia. Yeah, just been uh, out in the news this week on Facebook, certainly. And um, uh, my understanding is that he has uh, been recruited for a Wallace State College in Alabama in the USA. Oh, good luck to the young man. And Wallace State have taken a lot of players from Australia over there, and they've all been, been very, very successful. One well-known in particular is uh, Gavin Fingelson. This one's hit towards the shortstop who was playing up the middle. Not going to have any play at all. He's going to have to eat it. And Gifted Gopay ranging back into the 5-6 hole. He was cheating on the side of second base with the left-hander. And uh, Blake Cavill, he rolled it into the 5-6 hole. And Gopay got across to get it but couldn't do anything with it once he got it. And so Blake Cavill... And what I can see is his first at-bat of the season for the Blue Sox. will pick yep. himself up an RBI infield single. Well, well done. done. Obviously tagging up on that. Blake Cavill steps in now, the number 31. In the designated hitter for his debut with the Blue Sox tonight. First at-bat had a, an infield single, which uh, drove in a run. So uh, that was a handy first at-bat in the ABL. Certainly was. Goes into the elite company of the, the first at-batters with a base hit. Oh, runner missed it. Oh, Michael Campbell took his eyes off the ball. I oh, wasn't that. Romanski came up and, and threatened to throw, so Campbell turned and went back to the base. And, well, he started uh, back. Yeah. And unfortunately for Campbell, as he started back to the base, the ball came out of the hand of Romanski to the back yeah. uh, to the back wall. Campbell just didn't pick it up quickly and enough. He, he was heading in the wrong yep. direction. Couldn't turn and go back at the same time. All on screen. That Missing one down. Yep. yep. Two balls, one strike to count now. Beardsley to Cavill. Yeah, gets the edge. Only got to cut that black edge on the outside of the plate. That's a strike. Doesn't have to even do that if the umpire thinks it's a strike. <laughs> Thanks, Cam. Clarification there. A story about one of the uh, very old umpires in the uh, northern suburbs of Sydney. He was an elderly umpire, if you like, but he umpired every Saturday. He enjoyed doing his amateur games, and he had a senior game up there of uh, a couple of dad's teams. Called a third strike on one of the players. There was nowhere near it, near a strike, and he said it sounded like a strike. His eyesight wasn't that good. Everybody had a chuckle. Yeah, Got so on with the game. Several managers that have asked the umpire what their, what their guide dog thought, whether it, he thought it was a strike <laughs> or not. Most of those didn't last much longer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 2-2 two -two on Blake Cavill now. Good job of hanging in there, Blake. This one's going to go foul down the uh, third base side, out of play towards the Aces' bullpen. Again, Cavill taking another one of those pitches that's on the outside edge of the plate or on the outside corner and staying alive. Michael Campbell got halfway to third base from first. Well, two out. He's running on contact. Yep. So uh, there was absolutely no doubt that he was going. He wasn't worried about where the ball was headed. He was trying to get round to third or possibly even score. Another 2-2 two -two pitch from Beardsley. It's a slow roller to George. It's not in time. It's in the dirt anyhow. And Campbell gets away moves. from Tomska. And Campbell will advance to third. He was going on the force anyhow. Great base running, Michael Campbell. Not bad base running from Blake Cavill either. Had to get out of the box and hustle because Daryl George is an elite third baseman. Yeah. And he was taking his time. And Cavill put the pressure on him by hustling up the line and not giving it up. And as a result, George threw it in the dirt. Tomska couldn't handle it. Cavill aboard. Campbell to third. Now we go to the designated hitter for the Sox, Blake Cavill. <laughs> he 
Number eight in the lineup, the designated hitter. Lays off the next pitch. One ball, one strike. Beardsley working away well with his catcher, Jake Romanski. Missing inside, just trying to back Blake up off the edge of the plate a little. Comes inside, backs him up, then he'll throw outside edge, I'm sure. Cavill ready at the plate, 2-2 two -two count. Check swing. Called for a strike. Field calls everybody off, takes that comfortably. Rodriguez out on a fly ball to position eight. Two up, two down. The Blue Sox brings in Blake Cavill. Came in as a DH last night. Yeah, last night he's starting debut as a Blue Sox. Tonight starting debut on the field as a Blue Sox. Young man, as we said last night, came up with Jake Burns through the, uh, the pathways here in New South Wales, played in the Little League World Series over there in America. It's uh, part of the Australian team that almost made it out of the, uh, the rounds. It would have been the first Australian team to make it out of the rounds, but unfortunately they lost their last game. Chopped this one foul down the first base side. Brendan Kingman back there in his, uh, his usual position, prowling the first base coach's <laughs> box. We I hope had, he brought a note. I was going to say, we've had Rachel... Balkovic up there for a, a couple of nights. Doing a wonderful job. She's, she's done a great job out here all season long, especially in such a, uh, a disjointed season. As Cavill fouls this one off, she's the hitting coach for the New York Yankees. There's a nice take, catch taken up in the crowd. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's uh, the hitting coach for the New York Yankees. Came out here just to get a bit of winter league experience and a little bit of... Uh, of experience under her belt and has done a fantastic job out here, not only with the Blue Sox, but also at a base level, going out and doing clinics all around the New South Wales junior level uh, and going out and helping all the clubs and, and getting out there in amongst the grassroots level in New South Wales baseball. So and congratulations to Rachel and the Blue Sox on the great job they've done in such a disjointed season in getting out there to the, uh, the grassroots of New South Wales baseball. 2-2 pitch for Blake Cavill now. 2-2. Two -two. Kynes delivers. Gets one through. Cavill gallops up the line. Hard hit, ground ball to right field side. Well done, Blake Cavill. Starting to make a bit of a name for himself, isn't he? Absolutely is. Two out, bottom of four. Blue Sox with the runner in scoring position and Blake Cavill at the plate now. Cavill running. shows running bunt. It stays in until it hits the lip of the grass and takes a hard left-hand turn foul. It was a hard hit bunt. and It was going to be a, a fairly tough play for Daryl George because uh, Blake Cavill, being the lefty, he was out of the box and gone as he made contact. He's right down the line. Just hit the wrong bump on the ground and turned left. Well, where the, uh, the running uh, channels are cut, of course, there's the lip of the grass, and that set, took about second or third bounce, hit the lip and took a hard left-hand turn. If it had to settle down in that grass... I reckon it's probably a base hit. Cavill runs yep. well enough. He was halfway up the line. He was, he was going he really well. The, he got out of the box quick being a left-hander. He may have just about got there. Mm. 
strike on the bottom of the zone. Now again, Kynes gets ahead 0-2 of a hitter. That just shows you what a quality pitcher Gunner Kynes is. Makes it so difficult for the hitters when they fall behind 0-2. You just cannot make a mistake. Yep. So Cavill set for a 1-2 pitch. Runner at second base, Cam Gibson, let off with a single to right field. Advanced on the ground ball from Jacob Robson. Stays there. He's going to try for third. Cavill swings, misses, goes down on strike, so it won't matter. Blake Cav Possibly again tomorrow for Andrew Jones. Blake Cavill at the plate for the Sox. Melbourne 10. Sydney 4. Six run differential. The Sox need to keep working really hard at this to uh, make up the ground. Six run difference. Blake one for two again tonight. Had a base hit and struck out. They're looking to keep things rolling along. As, uh, it's been pretty good since he's been brought into the Blue Sox. Went two for four last night. Now one for two. So keeping that 500 average just rolling along nicely. He's done his good work at the right times of the game as well. Fouls one opposite field. Andrew Jones from the Blackburn Club in Victoria. Coming back after a bit of an absence from, um, from the Aces and the ABL. So it'll yeah. be good to, uh, good to see how he performs and gets back into the, uh, the run. He'll be a, a, a much... Uh, much needed addition to the uh, the bullpen of these aces heading into the these one game elimination shootouts that they're going into in the final series. And we're just discussing playoff opportunities. Getting through to that wild card game is all important. Well, you're still a chance of winning the uh, the championship if you can just make the playoffs in some way, shape, or form. Win on Tuesday and go to as you said, double elimination. And you would, you know, whoever wins that Tuesday game will come back against the Aces in Melbourne Ballpark on Thursday night for a what will be a one versus the wild card winner game. Sydney. <laughs> Love your confidence, Arrow. Love uh, your confidence. I'm always there. <laughs> Let's see what Cavill can do here. He's had a pretty good weekend, really. Doing all that's being asked of him. Chops this one up the middle, though. This might be a double ah. play ball. Nagopi steps on the, to second base and fires a strike across the diamond. As there has been another change, that is not Michael Campbell. Chris Cullen working feverishly. Here's the pitch from Moromando. Cable. Oh, Henry. No, that's the movie <laughs> star. <That's> just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's been a long day. It's uh, Cavill. I think of his first name. Here's the pitch. Made us to blue last week. What a time to come in to replace Michael Campbell. Blake Cavill. O two. 2 Here's the pitch from Moromando. Well, that one misses he, and the young man does not chase. Imagine this, you've been sitting on the bench all night and it's the top of the ninth with one out and you've suddenly got the call from Shane Barclay. This young man's heart has to be going about a million miles a minute. One and two, the count on him. He hits that one along the ground to Reynolds. Reynolds comes over with the throw. The out is recorded, but Sydney score the run. Howe crosses the plate. And the lead is 3-2. to two. <laughs> Well, 